Hello everybody. This is a response to Jesus Freak 777's challenge to atheists to come up with 10 commandments. Hello Jesus Freak. I'm Cosmic Zen. So I've come down from on high to ingratiate your request because it amuses me. Several atheists have told you that it's ridiculous to even ask for atheists to come up with commandments that would fit everyone. And I tend to agree, so I thought I would come up with 10 suggestions. But even that seemed a little too aggressive. So the wisdom that I have derived for you, for you all, are seven appreciations. With these seven appreciations, I hope that any human being that hears them, that it will instantly start to enhance their life, and will enhance their life for the rest of their life. These seven appreciations I find of a higher moral value than any religious text. So far, there has been no God that shows the wisdom to pass these messages on to their followers. Why seven? Because that just happens to be how many there are. There doesn't need to be ten if there isn't ten. The first appreciation is nonviolence. Appreciate nonviolence. Appreciate peace. Peace isn't just some word you say to people like hello and goodbye. Peace isn't just something you wish for and hope that it'll one day happen. The appreciation of peace itself. Peace almost as an entity, like you worship God. Only this peace is a conscious choice, a rational decision to make the world a better place, starting with yourself. And I'm talking about violence on all levels. Scolding a child, spanking a child, beating a wife, hitting a brother, going to war, cops and criminals, Criminals on criminals. Any scenario where any person strikes with hatred or violence against another person. Any example where people are killing people. In any instance where anyone would use force to oppress another. Where anyone would use abuse upon another. None of these things are acceptable. Appreciate true peace. The second appreciation. Appreciate honesty. Honesty is infinitely more valuable than truth. If you pursue the quest of knowledge, you find that each point in space, including our consciousness, is relatively subject to the environment around it, and that two observers can observe the same situation with two truthful results. That being the case, a million observers observing the same instance could have a million different perspectives. None of them are false. All of their perspectives are truthful based upon their own relative position in the universe. Such is the case with all things. When you get hung up that something is the truth, you stop questioning that thing. You believe in that thing. But if you're intellectually honest, then you can look at any given truth find its failability, and move past it onto a better truth. And it takes a lot more inner fortitude to live your life that honestly than just to simply seek for truth. The third appreciation is appreciate knowledge. Appreciate how many lives and how many man-hours of thought and work and endeavor in all fields have gone to compile this giant work of knowledge. Every science of every field, astronomy, physics, chemistry, biology, archaeology, anthropology, zoology, all the ologies, all of them. They're all just a speck of what there is to know out there. Appreciate what we know and appreciate how much there is to know. Once you realize how little you'll ever know, only then will you begin to become wise. Appreciate knowledge. Question everything. Appreciation 4. Appreciate your own life. Appreciate that your entire existence from birth to death is your entire universe and there's nothing you can possibly experience that isn't directly tied to your phenomenological experience. Your life is all you have, and everything that you know is everything that you know. It's the collective sum of the neurons collecting information in your brain. And you are so unique, no one will ever have your experiences and your thoughts. 
And like a cut flower, when you die, you're gone. So appreciate the brevity of your own life. Look into your health. Look into your psychology. Look into everything you can know. Empower yourself so that you can become a strong individual, so that the people in your life can look up to you and know that they can count on you to be a good moral guide and a strong individual. Become the model of what you want out of life. Appreciate your own life. Appreciation 5. Appreciate the life of others. Now this is very similar to the first appreciation of non-aggression. But it differs in that as you appreciate the uniqueness of your own life and the value of your health and your knowledge, appreciate that in others and bring that out in others. Help others to come to appreciate these seven appreciations. Appreciation six. Appreciate the environment. Your immediate environment, the global environment, every environment that every life form lives on, from maggots to whales. Appreciate the environment on the infinite number of planets that are out there. When I say environment, I mean the universe. Everything that is. Appreciate reality. Don't waste any of your unique, limited time on stupid fairy tales. It's hard enough to derive the truth of reality with our limited sensual input. But you need to appreciate reality before you can ever start figuring out what this life is all about. The seventh appreciation is appreciate change. All things change form. Matter and energy are constant in the universe, but they always change form. Every piece of matter and energy in this universe was once something else. Every piece of matter and energy in this universe will become something else. Everything you know, everything you think you know, will change. So many different things can happen to you to make your life change. Change is one of the few constants of the universe. So I hope you or whoever will take these seven appreciations and infiltrate them into your perceptions. Contemplate them in a light relevant to each other. If every human had this list of appreciation, the world would be a better place and evil would be non-existent. So take this wisdom and go forth. Why didn't Jesus think up any of that stuff? How come God didn't tell Moses some of that stuff? No God is wiser than me.